If you want to know if your property has development potential, hit the link below and download the six steps to find out whether any property you find has development potential. Hey everyone, this is Ian with another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the things that you need to know if you're thinking about approaching the planning system. If you've seen a uh, property that you like, a development site, or maybe you're just interested in how the planning system works, this video is designed to kind of get you through those key steps um, before you even think about approaching the council or how to approach the council or how to assess a site, um, those kind of things. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure you do your own research. Don't rely on others, not even planning officers. If a plan, Even if a planning officer writes a view for you, there'll be plenty of people that uh, watch this video and they'll know that planning officers quite often change their minds and that is um, the most frustrating thing that people find about it. So if you have um, maybe a friend in the know or, or someone that thinks they know better than you, just always, always, always do your own research because relying on others, like I say, even, even the council can really get you um, into trouble. You know, you just waste so much time. You could apply thinking that, oh, I could get a, an extension here or I could do whatever and you apply and then you get refused or, or you know, and it would just take you, it would just take you forever to get through. And leading on to that, if you're thinking about approaching the planning system, just be clear on exactly how long it takes. Unfortunately, it's not a quick process. Um, you know, quite often, uh, say real estate agents or someone will say, oh, you can build something here without planning permission. That may be true, but you must go through the planning system to make sure that what you're, what you're um, proposing um, is uh, valid, is legitimate. So in that, what I'm trying to say is that you have to go through the planning system and just bear in mind the time it takes to go through. If you're submitting a planning application that requires consultation, that takes eight weeks and that's eight weeks minimum. That's eight weeks on a good day, okay? So um, you'd be very lucky to get your decision within eight weeks of submission. So bear that in mind. And I would, it's hard because each council is different, but I would probably at least add 50% to that time, maybe even more um, for the whole process to complete. And that leads me to my next point, which is use permitted development wherever possible. So I've done a video on what permitted development is versus planning permission. Permitted development was designed to speed up the planning process so that um, people that are doing kind of rear extensions or small things to their houses that could just don't really need much assessment, they could have they have a much more streamlined process to to get um, to get permission. So that's what they were, they were created for. So I would get familiar with the permitted development order, uh, which is a document which sets out. Unfortunately, it's not very well written, but it sets out exactly what um what you what you can do under permitted development the 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 key takeaway from from all of this from permitted development is there's no consultation process they have a strict deadline in which to um uh determine the application if they don't determine it uh, in that time then it's deemed to be acceptable so um if you're looking at developing a house or a property of any sort just look at the permitted development rights and just I would maximize those as much as possible um, because once you get into the planning process through a planning application you get into negotiations um, and it takes far too long you also bring residents into it so your neighbors so if you submit a planning application there's that 21 21 day consultation process anyone can object and depending depending on who that objector is they could be someone that knows uh, uh, a counselor for instance or or um, who knows just the planning process inside out better than you and they know how to slow it down or worse yet get a refusal for you which might not actually actually be a refusal anyway so just wherever possible use permitted development the next step is to find a good consultant um, and these really are worth their weight in gold. I think everyone realizes that from, you know, when 
anyone who's done even you know done their kitchen or done their bathroom they know the value of a good tradesman the same is true with consultants when it comes to planning um, not only for you as the client to have a, a, a someone you can rely on and trust but also from a planning officer's point of view when they get something they they know straight away just by the quality of your application um, whether or not these guys are any good and it quite often gives you an indication as to whether or not something's going to be acceptable or not um, so it's the truth so um, a good tip from that is to if you found a property you like have a walk around on the local area google street views enough or google um, google bird's eye view and have a look at any development you've seen on a house that looks recent <clears throat> just fly around get their address and then go into the um, the local authorities planning search engine so every authority has one so let's say you're in um, a north london borough you choose the north london borough go find their planning search engine type in the address of the property you like and then you'll be able to see that their planning history which is a record of all the planning applications and permitted development applications that they've submitted find the one that you know is the development you like click on the documents and then find out through those you can find out who the architect is and if there's any other um, consultants they use that would be helpful for you not only is that good because you like the development that you've seen but also you then have comfort that that um, consultant knows the local borough and the local um, kind of ways of doing things with that planning department so uh, it's a really good tip um, I'll probably do a, a bigger video on how to find consultants um, as well but definitely use the use a good consultant because it really does shave down your time and the last thing I would say is always 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 get your decision before you start building always because if you don't do it right you are going to be possibly bound to enforcement action and that basically means that you could potentially have to tear everything down that you've already done so whilst permitted development are a set of kind of boundaries that you can build within so yes you can build them without planning permission there are you do need something that's called prior approval for a lot of them which basically means that you just need to show the council what you're doing so that just to make sure yes it's okay because if you build without planning permission the second you get found out the enforcement department will come and visit you and they may ask you to redo all the works i mean there's a couple of famous cases um that has been that of um that may be well known in the press that you'll know about um but it's nothing it's you know it's a criminal act it's not it's not something that's uh um or just part of the planning process and you don't have to worry about it if you if you are a building against um, planning regulations and the enforcement department get in, in contact with you and they actually serve a notice on you and you don't comply you're effect you are breaking the law so um, it's quite a serious thing so always get your decisions um, whether they're permitted development or planning applications get always get your decisions um, uh, receive your decisions before you start building and then you will save yourself uh, years of time thousands if not more of pounds yeah so those are the five things and i hope you like this video leave a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button and i'll see you on the next one